is I'm seeing here somebody in the collective that is leaving someone behind, someone that was in Medusa energy, okay? So this could be a man or a woman, but or this could be a, a man in a wounded feminine energy, meaning they're in their masculine energy. So all of us, we, we hold both energies. We hold them the masculine and the feminine. Now, this could be a male that is operating in a wounded feminine energy or has not um, aligned himself with his feminine energy or this could be a woman who is deeply wounded and hyper masculine okay so collective I'm seeing that there's somebody that you had to let go of here that was in this Medusa energy and they were rageful about their past they were rageful about the things that have happened to them they were rageful about everything that went on in their life okay when you met this person, um, this person didn't really know how to receive you. You can watch me if you want. Ooh, let's clear the energy out here. All right. Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Nibiru Bomani. Welcome to the Prophetess, okay? This is Tarot Redefined by Human Design. And if you don't know what that is, please take a look on Google. It's a game changer. All right, so today we're going to get into some energy reads with this eclipse that we got going on, okay? Never mind the smoke, okay? Um, there has been a lot going on in the ethers lately. A lot of fear mongering, shit that I just can't get behind, okay? That's just not me, all right? So I, I've been laying low for the past couple days. So if you guys haven't noticed me posting or whatever the case may be, I've just been laying low because I, I don't, I, I don't, I don't live in fear. I don't carry that in my heart, and I had to just kind of stay over the internet and like do me because this whole eclipse thing has got people in a tizzy. Okay, eclipsing, eclipse energy is all about like clipping out what no longer serves you what no longer aligns with you and making amends with the version of yourself that allows certain shit to happen and also becoming one with the art of detachment okay so yeah we're gonna get into an energy read a collective energy read for those of you who need to get a specific message okay this message is not going to be for everyone it's just a general collective message but we're we're tuning into that eclipse energy seeing what it is that you guys need to eclipse out of your life okay so it's not going to be a lengthy intro like i usually do but um we're going to read the cards we're going to see what the spirit has to say for you okay let's get into it And I hope you guys are doing good today and you wasn't looking at the sun. Okay? All right, let's get into it. I'm calling my angels, ancestors, and spirit guides. And I ask you to cover me and protect me and protect the collective. Cover me, protect me, and keep us safe. All right? Please allow me to hear the messages clearly and precisely. Okay? Please push out any negative energies or any hijacking energies that are evil that are trying to hijack this reading please send them back to hell ashe all right i'm gonna take my time doing this reading so it's gonna be pro probably a little lengthy I'm trying I'm gonna try to give you guys some real some real life wisdom okay I should have got my shadow deck out. That's what I should have too, but it don't matter. I don't need it. Ah, okay. <sighs> a 
Okay. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna get an overall feel with the energy. So I'm gonna pre-shuffle three cards. Got my three cards and I'm gonna tell you what I see here. Okay. So for the first card, so let me explain. We have the mind, soul, and body of the reading, okay? So we have Medusa out here as the mind of the reading. All right. We have Queen Yah level up as the um, body of the reading. And we have Mami Wata as the soul of the reading, okay? So, mm, let me just clarify some things real quick. Okay. Actually, I'm going to use the shadow deck. Show me what I need to see for Medusa, spirit. Show me what I need to see for Medusa. What is this Medusa energy for the collective? Okay. All right. Mhm. Mm Interesting. Okay. Okay. Okay, so remember guys when I said about eclipsing our energy, that's what eclipse is for. So, if you've been having a hard time Give me a second. If you've been having a hard time eclipsing our energy um and realizing what it is that you need to get rid of, this is what we're working with here. So with this with this energy of Medusa, okay, you guys know Medusa. Medusa, unfortunately, was taken advantage of by some individuals, okay, taken advantage of sexually. And, you know, unfortunately, she was blamed for this, okay? And she was also cursed for this, okay? Um, Medusa didn't really have a happy story, all right? But it's interesting because it really wasn't her fault. All right. Clarifying Medusa, we have the queen of my world. Okay. Now, um, what I'm seeing here is I'm seeing here somebody in the collective that is leaving someone behind. Someone that was in Medusa energy. Okay. So this could be a man or a woman. but Or this could be a, a man in a wounded feminine energy. Meaning there are in their masculine energy so all of us we we hold both energies we hold them the masculine and the feminine now this could be a male that is operating in a wounded feminine energy or has not um aligned himself with his feminine energy or this could be a woman who is deeply wounded and hyper masculine okay so collective i'm seeing that there's somebody that you had to let go of here that was in this Medusa energy and they were rageful about their past. They were rageful about the things that have happened to them. They were rageful about everything that went on in their life. Okay. When you met this person, um, this person didn't really know how to receive you. Okay. And it's because they were so angry about their past. Honestly, I don't feel like this person was ever thinking that there was anything truly wrong with them meaning they didn't see anything wrong with their ways and the way that they viewed the world okay but because because i'm getting a collective of people here who are very light-hearted so you could be earth angels you could be star seeds and light workers but you met this type of rageful energy and it wasn't until you came into their life that they saw how much their dark side was representing them right okay you know because light cast shadows a light cast illumination over shadows okay so it's like they couldn't see themselves while they were standing next to you and because they couldn't see themselves while they were standing next to you they didn't know what to hold on to so what i'm getting here is that this person because of whatever happened to them in their life whatever events crazy events this could be this could be similar to medusa this could be grape this could be sa this could be um abuse torture something from childhood i'm getting okay now 
this person has built a persona to protect themselves, right? And as most children, they build a persona to protect themselves from trauma and abuse, okay? And this persona was very rageful and very angry at what happened to them, rightfully so, but they carried it with them all the way up until adulthood, right? They never let it go. They actually took on the traits of their abusers because they felt like there was a shield to them, okay? I want you to see how Medusa has a shield up of her face, okay? Whenever I see Medusa's shield and it's her face, it makes me, what's up? It makes me think that like she has a mask. She's wearing two faces, you know, like she's trying to hide away from who she truly is with, uh, with this, with this armor, with her face on it. Right, but this armor with her face on it, if you notice, it's red. To me, red is the color of power, but it's also the color of blood and bloodshed. Right? And <laughs> what's up, Kush Boy? Um, and it just lets me know that this is anger, this is rage, this is vengefulness. But it also lets me know that this wasn't supposed to happen to Medusa. Okay? She became this, this, this monstrous creature because this is what they made her into but also she allowed herself to succumb to the title of what she's been given okay so although a medusa was taken advantage of and that wasn't her fault by any means um and she was banished to an island and cursed um she didn't have to take on the role of a rageful vengeful person she chose that okay now when you met this person that was in this energy right um because you are a light worker they can't see themselves while they were standing next to you because light illuminates shadows so if this person is always standing next to darker individuals all right they're always seeking out darkness because now that's where they live that's their new home um they feel comfortable there and when the light presents itself, when the light casts itself out, um, this person is not going to feel comfortable seeing their, their mirror image, seeing what they actually look like, because remember, they're cursed, right? So she's cursed to look ugly. Once beautiful, cursed to look ugly, right? Um, now, she is in the energy of someone who can't stand to look at herself, all right? Now you here you come illuminating onto her path and now she has no choice but to look at herself right yeah and because of this she hates you for it she hates you for it she hates you for it so i'm getting collective that some of you um when you started dating this person you just didn't know you didn't know that they were who they were you know what i mean you just didn't know you had no idea, right? Okay, there we go. Are you in the reading? Oh, okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so you you just didn't you just you just didn't see yourself with this person long term, but really it had to do with the fact that this person was lying about who they were. You understand me? Lying about who they were, lying about their 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 issues, lying about their problems, and also wearing a mask. So they were trying to illuminate themselves as a light as well, but they weren't, okay? They were hiding from themselves, hiding from themselves in this dark cave. They had been wearing this mask for so long that they forgot what they actually look like or what they actually are like or what they actually become, okay? Because before the abuse happened to them, this person used to be a decent person. But when they met you, they didn't have... It's, your light irritated them. Your light made them upset okay we also have the queen of my world do you see that 
queen of my world. This is clarifying the Medusa card, right? Queen of my world. That's you, collective. The queen of your world. The king of your world. Someone who's empowered. Here go this red color again. When I talked about red represents power, okay? This is you finally standing in your power and eclipsing out this relationship that no longer serves you, okay? Ooh, this was a lot for you, um, collective. This was a lot for you to overcome. This is a lot for you to understand. This was a lot for you to deal with. But it made you the person you are today, okay? Dealing with this person really tested you in every way possible to be tested, okay? This person sometimes made you doubt yourself and your own capabilities because of how strong their rage was. And they often projected onto you, okay? So this is what you're doing. You even see... Um, Medusa in, standing in front of a moon, two moons, a half moon, a full moon. So this is eclipse energy, eclipsing this out. All right. You guys are going towards better. You guys are going towards freedom. You guys are going towards independence. This is exactly what you guys are going towards. Okay. You're the queen of your world now. You're standing in your power. You're no longer allowing people to hold you back and to project onto you and and to put yourself at the end of someone else's rage. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing. So if you haven't done this yet, I would advise you to do it. Eclipse this energy out if you're dealing with somebody like this. Eclipse this energy out because there's something better for you. Okay. And you know that. We also have the level up card here, right? Um, with Queen Ya. And Queen Ya just talks about leveling up, becoming the best version of yourself, right? This is the body of the reading, okay? So, so you could be doing some sort of like, you could be in studying, like studying in school, studying a new trade, studying something okay i'm seeing someone who's into divination someone who's into divination someone who's tapping into their spiritual gifts someone who's doing that okay yeah but either way you're leveling up you're 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 educating yourself on something you're trying to find new ways to make money you're trying to find new avenues to become more independent okay because maybe you could have been dependent on this person at one point you're just trying to find new ways to free yourself from this energy Okay, that's why you have this sword up here. Okay, you see her? She has that sword up right there. You're freeing yourself from everything that you were attached to. You're cutting the, you're cutting the cord, so you could have just did a cord cutting. Or maybe you need to do a cord cutting. Okay, you need to eclipse out this energy with this cord cutting. All right. You're just detaching from what no longer matters to you, what no longer, you know serves you this is your season collective this is your season and it's nothing holding you back i'm also getting that the divine is really like on your side the divine is really supporting you at this time because you're choosing something you're choosing yourself you know you're the queen of your world out here you're choosing yourself and the divine is really supporting this okay we have i won't cry for you clarifying that card clarifying level up i won't cry for you okay <sighs> this is you offering up your tears of blood okay here goes this red color again right you see she has tears coming out her eyes and to me this represents the tears that you cried while you were with this person and how they affected you and how painful it was to be with somebody that was that felt this rageful about their own life that then projected onto you because you didn't deserve this treatment that they gave you you didn't deserve this okay they made you feel inferior they made you feel worthless they made you feel like you didn't matter they made you feel everything they felt or they tried to all right this person tried to transfer the responsibility of holding their own rage Hey, my love. And now you don't have no more tears left to cry for this person. All right. 
you were crying so much so that you were crying blood meaning this this really hurt you this was a really painful season of your life but it this 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 time around you moved into something where in which you're going to the ultimate to your highest calling to your purpose okay and you're like i won't cry for you you could have been a person that also had a series of toxic relationships okay and it's because you're an earth angel or you're a star seed or some sort of light worker and honestly it's truly because you are the middleman you're the middleman you come in when people need you you come in when people need assistance you come in when people need help okay so your being a light worker is no easy feat it's no easy job it's no it's it's just not it's just not easy but you're prepared for it this is what you was designed to do okay um and it's also because you're helping the wounded you're a healer all right and so you may have always met individuals who were wounded who were rageful who who have experienced trauma who projected onto you and the spirit sent these people in your life because they knew you know how to heal them even if it wasn't at the expense of your own self okay because they knew how strong you was they knew that you were alchemized on this energy okay and i'm getting collective you alchemized off this energy big time you didn't let this person break you down you didn't let this person take you away from yourself you didn't let this person like tear you down all the way what you did was is yeah you cried your tears some of your tears turned into blood tears because you were so affected by what was going on because this was a really bad situation okay but you didn't allow this no matter how bad it was you didn't allow this to take you out you used it to become even better you use it as fuel to, to, to move forward, okay? You use it to propel you towards something greater. And this is why the spirit is supporting you now, okay? So when we talk about I won't cry for you, we also got 22 out here. So um, I'm just getting that this is a master number. So you could be a master number 22, okay like life path master number 22 so you could have a high calling on your life like a high purpose okay yeah this person you weren't going to be with this person long term anyway the spirit wasn't going to allow you to do that because of your calling okay but you're choosing yourself you're leveling up that's why clarifying this level up card is this i won't cry for you because you're not crying any more tears anymore you're just leveling up you're just choosing yourself okay And if you haven't done so, that's what you need to do during this eclipse season. All right. We have Mommy Wata out here. Right. Mommy Wata talks about being naked, being vulnerable. Okay. So your soul is bared naked to every experience that you've ever had. Okay. I'm hearing you feel stripped. You feel stripped. You feel peace. You feel enlightenment. You feel 222. You feel at one with yourself. And there's a lot of you have who have felt like that before. But in this season, you feel very, very connected to your oneness, to your spirit, to your divinity. Okay? And this is because you've allowed yourself to go through this process, no matter how painful it was. You didn't, you didn't skip any part of the healing. You didn't skip any part of the healing. You didn't skip any part of the pain. You didn't skip any part of the lesson. You went through the whole entire thing to the point where your soul was bare naked. To the point where the only person you had to blame was yourself. And then even in that, you learned the lesson from why you were attracting these types of people. And what was your purpose for even getting to know these types of people okay you understand now and you understand how to have boundaries you understand what's going on clarifying that naked card talks about obsession you see that okay 
so this 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 relationship could have been very like codependent okay i'm feeling like this collective this this person that you were with or this person that you eclipsed out during this eclipse season um was obsessed with you obsessed with your energy obsessed with having you around all the time obsessed with making you their little trophy or their little vibe or whatever what's up Rhonda? how you doing my love they were obsessed with this okay you know they were obsessed with you obsessed with their light that's why here we have this card out here obsession and she's holding a light in front of her face you see that okay so she's obsessed with your light or, or he's obsessed with your light or was okay and maybe you feel maybe you felt obligated to stick around you know maybe you felt obligated to stick around maybe you felt like it was your purpose to stick around i don't know but i'm getting that no more no more yes you did my love i'm getting no more no more you're not gonna do this anymore okay this person could have like tried to make you into somebody that you weren't because they were obsessed with your light okay um they just wanted you to be who they wanted you to be okay and it's also too i'm getting too with this mommy wants her card about being naked i'm getting this person started to strip you of everything you are okay they tried to strip you of everything you are because of this obsession like they trying to abuse you use you talk down on you um plant fear in your head plant fear in your mind okay this person could have even like commented on the way you do things okay that's what i'm getting but no more because you're leveling up okay gratitude for the hearts guys no more because you're leveling up no more okay so you're eclipsing out this energy and you're coming into a new season of abundance and true self-love for oneself okay let's get into the tarot and see what is going on with the tarot For real. Gratitude to the spirit. It's going to be a good season for you, collective. Once you eclipse this energy out. Okay. Things are going to start to fall in your lap and you're not going to know where they're coming from. They're just going to start to come out of nowhere. Okay. And it's because you let this shit go. You stop holding on to something that wasn't serving you. And it's funny because the Six of Wands came out. Just flew out. Literally flew out. <laughs> I kid you not. I can't make this up. I cannot make this up. I cannot make this up collective. We have some beautiful cards out here. We got the High Priestess, we got the Six of Wands, Six of Swords, High Priestess, Ten of Pentacles, and a Five of Pentacles, okay? Yes, gratitude. Let's clarify these cards. beautiful 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 energy beautiful 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 wow this is amazing collective this is amazing okay it's a beautiful reading money 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 that's right <laughs> 
so we got the six of wands out here see that six of wands okay clarified by bustling hub okay you see them the people in the market they're getting their foods you know cultural activities a melting pot of people okay so you could be moving okay collective there could be some of you that's there could be some of you that's thinking about okay what is that a motorcycle <laughs> <laughs> Some of you trying to move quick, fast, is in a hurry. Okay. <laughs> All right. So we got the Six of Wands out here. Six of Wands represents victory and success in the upright, but in the reverse, it represents punishment and pride. All right. Lack of recognition. Unnecessary. Just unnecessary. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, I'm telling the truth. That's how y'all know this confirmation. All right. So you're going to, with the six of wands, you're going to, like I said, you're going to receive some sort of victory, success, and public reward. So you could be in the public eye collective. Maybe you've been trying to get into the public eye. Maybe you're a speaker or you're a, um, a writer or some sort, or you're in the public eye, like a social, you could be on a social media. You could be, you could be somewhere um outside gratitude ronza you could be somewhere out in the public where people can see you and people that have access to you okay um when we talk about this bustling hub though right that is a cultural melting pot you're about to go somewhere or you're about to be around a bunch of people that are from all different walks of life okay right now you're in a season where spirit is bringing forth Spirit is trying to put you in the right places with the right people. And I'm not necessarily sure how this is going to happen, Collective, but it's going to happen pretty soon. Okay, so this victory, success, and public reward from the Six of Wands is connected to being seen by people from all across the world, being finally recognized for your gifts and talents, okay? Or whatever it is that you do, all right? So this is going to be a result of eclipsing out that energy that we first talked about when we came in. Gratitude. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on here. Then we have the Six of Wands. Right here, Six of Wands. The Six of Wands represents transition, leaving behind, moving on. And the reverse, it represents emotional baggage, okay? Um, so there's some things you left behind and this was this this person that you were dealing with this energy that you were dealing with this energy of rage that you were dealing with okay you eclipse that out or you're eclipsing that out you're transitioning you're moving into a new season of your life and you're just moving on to something new that aligns with you better you're you're elevating and ascending to a level that you've never been at before which is going to allow you to be in this social nexus when meeting these cultural individuals and connecting with new people right clarifying that card is the elevator see that the elevator so clarifying the six of swords with transition and moving on the elevator is here okay I just said you're moving on so you're moving on up okay it says vertical transport transit between floors accessible accessibility so because you're moving out of this energy and moving into another energy and you eclipsing this person or this energy of rage behind this person that didn't didn't care about you didn't really you know wasn't really there for you like how you needed it you are being rewarded by the spirit for actually letting this go okay you're in this elevator now you're going straight up you're going straight up for a while you could have been stuck in between floors okay you could have been stuck in between floors the elevator may not have felt like it was moving at all but it's because you was in the wrong place for too long okay maybe you were trying to move on from this person or maybe you were trying to get out of the situation but you just didn't for whatever reason and it happened when it needed to and maybe this eclipse was when you finally realized what it really was you know what i mean so now you're on a vertical transport of this elevator this elevator which spirit is operating and is trying to take you straight to your guided destination of which you were um destined to be 
okay so pr collective prepare for a catapult upward prepare for miracles to happen in your life prepare for things to happen overnight prepare for things to open up to you like 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 the floodgates like water like ocean water like it's gonna be crazy okay all because you eclipsed out this energy okay all because you chose yourself all right we have the high priestess energy out here this is you okay the high priestess is an intuitive all right um someone who's very strong in themselves or uh uh a spiritualist, a, a, um, a queen, okay? Sometimes even a little witchy, okay? <laughs> this is you. Um, but you, I told you I'm talking to somebody that's, that has spiritual gifts, okay? So this, the high priestess is the highest of them all, all right? So you're that bitch. You didn't, you didn't need to be with this person anyway. You wasn't going to be for them for long if you're in this high priestess energy. Because this person was was not in this energy. This person was like a page. Okay. This was, you were just on assignment. You were just on assignment. You were just there to assist because you're an earth angel. You're a light worker. You were just there to assist. Assist. This wasn't going to be forever. So I seen a red cardinal today and I was manifesting, grounding myself this morning. It's funny because a lot of red energy was out here. Power. All right. That's all it's about right now. Standing your power, taking your power back. All right. Clarifying this high, this high priestess energy, we have the bench card. All right. You see that park bench? So it says rest and relaxation, seating, comfort, pause, wander. So again, collective, you could have been in a season of your life where you were questioning what's going on. Like, why am I on a pause? Why aren't things happening? What's going on, right? And it's truly because you were in the wrong place for too long, all right? You just were a little bit stuck. That elevator was a little bit, that elevator was a little bit stuck, okay? That elevator wasn't, wasn't really moving too much, okay? And for some reason, it was taking a fire department a thousand years to come and save the day. All right? So you had to crawl up out that shit. You had to open the top of the elevator and jump out of that shit yourself and climb however many floors. You had to take things into your own hands. Okay? And that's what you did. All right? When we talk about this high priestess energy in this bench, clarifying it, this bench is talking about a place to stay. Like, a, not a place to stay. It could be a place to stay um, or a place to rest and relax. So... I'm also seeing like this is about comfort. This is about housing. This is about finally being a place of peace. So not just a, a place of physical peace, but a place of peace within your body, within your mind, within your spirit. Like this person that you were with brought you a lot of emotional distress. Okay. A lot of, a lot of emotional dysregulation. And so now you're in a place of peace because you don't have to deal with this no more. All right. And also this was keeping you stuck on this elevator because you were emotionally stunted while you were dealing with this person and your heart was was hurting and if you know anything about the heart chakra things can't really move if your heart is not light if your heart is not open and if you were severely impacted by this person and this person was you know like abusing you or projecting on you um this was going to hurt your heart chakra your heart chakra was going to need healing okay so this was holding you up too all right um, but yeah, when we talk about this bench card, it's talking about rest, rest and relaxation. You're in the peace within self, peace on the outside. So you could be coming into a new apartment, um, a new house, um, some sort of vehicle too. I'm seeing, even if it's a, even if it's a new bike, some new wheels, like, you know what I mean? But it's a, it's a place of peace, rest. You can rest like your soul can rest now. Okay, because you're no longer attached to this person, not spiritually, okay? We also have the Ten of Pentacles out here. All right. Ten of Pentacles talks about legacy, culmination, and inheritance. Okay, so again, like I was saying before, 
um, there's an inheritance that you've been trying to inherit. There's something that belongs to you. And I know this belongs to you because you are who you say you are, okay? Like I said before, you entered this person's life to change their life, to, to just act as a mediator. You wasn't going to stay forever, all right? Um, and the reason I know this is because you're in this high priestess energy, meaning you're a light worker. Like, you transition from one place to another, okay so you go into people's lives right when things are about to happen for them or right when they need change and they need elevation and you put your wisdom and your guidance on the situation and you learn whatever lesson you need to learn from it too and you alchemize off of that and then you're guided somewhere else all right that's not going to be a thing anymore when it comes to these toxic people okay you're going to be in alignment with your true self or you are already in alignment with your true self and you're only going to be attracting people who really need you. I mean, really, really, really can relate to you, really can understand you, really can connect with you. All right? You're still going to be helping people, but in a different kind of way. All right? All right. And this inheritance here, too. Your inheritance is coming in. I told you there's a lot of money coming in. There's a lot of money. There's a lot of... There's a lot coming in, baby. You're not going to miss it. Because some of, some of you in the collective feel like you're going to miss it. Like, what do I do to get this money? What do I do to come out of this? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? You don't have to do nothing. You just have to exist. You just have to exist. That's all. And listen to the call of the spirit. Once the spirit calls you to do something, just do it. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Just fucking do it. If you've been thinking about an idea lately, do it. Now, there's no better time than now. This is how you're going to be guided to the right people, places, and things. Because sometimes we often worry about how will this inheritance come in? Where will it come from? Like, I'm not doing anything. You don't have to be doing anything for this to come to you in this way. You just have to be listening to the spirit and be guided by the spirit. And you will be guided in the right places, in the right rooms. Okay? And then all of a sudden, you'll be in the room where your inheritance is in. And you're like, damn, how about I got here? You just got to be listening to the spirit. Just trust. Have faith. You know. Highlighting that Ten of Pentacles is the river card. Right? You see that? River. Okay. It says flowing waters. Riverbank view, views. So, again... This is connected to my Ten of Pentacles card. So this river card is showing me abundance, water, water's fertility. This is where things grow. This is where babies grow, okay? This is where our inheritance is, all right? So this water, I mean, this money is going to come in like a windfall, like a flowing river. I said that earlier, like a flowing river or flowing ocean, okay? You're going to give birth to something, and this something that you're giving birth to is going to be immaculate it's going to be beautiful it's going to be expressive it's going to be something that puts you on a map right hmm. i like this reading for you collective so then we have the five of pentacles out here you see that five of pentacles right Highlighting the five of pencil cold cards is a luxury boutique. Okay, you see that? Luxury boutique. Period. All right. The five of pentacles in the upright is like poverty and insecurity, but in the reverse, it's recovery and charity, improvement in life, right? Now, the way I see this is um, since the luxury boutique card is highlighting it, I see this in the, in the um, reverse. And basically, it's letting me know that you're recovering from something that really that really did a number on you. You're recovering from something that really did a number on you. And now you're about to walk into places where you can afford these types of things. You can afford these types of things, these dazzling gems and precious metals, okay? A luxury boutique, okay? You're going to be able to walk into places and not worry about the price tag. You know what I mean? Because you're just going to be that. You're going to be that. You're going to be that with those places. You know? That's what I'm getting. But this river card really took me because 
this abundance is gonna flow in just like this river you're you're gonna be stunned you're literally gonna be stunned you're gonna be stunned what's up say so you're gonna be stunned at how the spirit is going to move this abundance into your life because it's going to come out of nowhere okay all because you made this decision to eclipse out this negative energy out of your life eclipse this person out of your life that was holding you back okay i say let me pull a few more cards and we'll get into what the spirit wants you to do going forward for this eclipse season okay okay spirit period <laughs> And what they not don't want you to do okay so they warning you this is what i see here this is what they're telling you they need you to get ready they need you to get ready okay you see all the things we just talked about they need you to get ready they need you to be prepared but they're also warning you of the things that are coming to pass because as you know every single time that some good shit is on the way there's always some the fucking ops okay demonic ops that want to come by and be like so what you doing over there i heard you was trying to level up none of your business like you know what I mean? none of your business <laughs> Also, don't tell people your plans. Keep your plans to yourself, collective. At this time, it's very important that you keep your plans to yourself. Please, I don't care if it's a little small detail. Don't tell people nothing. I don't care if you're washing your clothes tomorrow. Don't tell nobody nothing. I'm telling you. You know why? Because people is always looking for something. This is the spirit of trickster to me, honestly. Trickster energy. It's always trickster energy around. All right, when some good is coming in. <laughs> so then we got the here, we got the schedule card. The schedule card talks about planning and organizing. Okay? So what the spirit needs you to do, right, is start planning and organizing what you want to do. Start, like I talked about earlier about how you guys might be studying. Tricks are definitely for kids. How you guys might be studying something new or trying to go down some new path or you're just gaining knowledge on something that you want to implement into your life to get money like this could be a new trade or something like that okay or you guys are maybe even tarot readers you guys could become tarot readers or maybe you're trying to learn more about the spiritual realm so that you can share your information or even you're just getting more in touch with spirit okay but anyways i digress the spirit wants you to start scheduling start managing yourself better okay start start tapping into this energy of abundance because as you know millionaires and billionaires and people who got that cash all right they on a tight schedule they they are people who they they got it in the bag when it comes to what they're doing in the morning they're taking care of their mind body and spirit okay make sure you get on this all right they also want you to plan out things. They want you to live more in your north node. So if you if you got an earth sign for a north node or you have earth sign in your top three, they want you to tap more into that earth energy. Ground yourself. Ground yourself to the present. All right. Ground yourself to the outcome. What you want to happen. Like set yourself up for success. You know, no more just winging it and see what's going to go like start really planning and see where you're going to go. Because when you start planning, this is going to give the universe an inkling on how to move for you. Okay, remember, the universe um, moves at the beats of uh, our drum, not the other way around. So whatever we're putting out, whatever we're giving off, that's what they're giving back, all right? So if you start scheduling and being a type A person, the spirit is going to start bringing things in just as abundant because you have the space for it you ever heard the saying don't keep a cluttered wallet like don't have a wallet with like 
don't have a wallet with like receipts and shit all over the place because it's it's it's, it's a bad magnet like it's it's a bad space for money to flow into because it's junky it's not it's not really a clean house like cleanliness is next to godliness even when you go to somebody's house and their house is not clean um you can kind of tell they're not really attracting anything good to that space it's the same thing with your wallet it's the same thing with your everyday life okay start to plan in a way where you can attract these things where you're where you're dedicating room and space for certain things to come in so start planning start thinking about things and how you want them to go okay okay taurus in the building we got message of concern highlight in that schedule card okay message of concern to me doesn't necessarily concern me but um I feel like in, intuitively mes message of concern is something good here, all right? So concern doesn't always have to be I'm concerned. Like I'm really like thinking about something bad that's going to happen. Um, it could be something that's concerning you, concerning your business affairs, concerning something new coming in, concerning abundance, concerning a check, all right? That's what I'm taking it as. All right, so schedule out whatever you need to schedule out so you can get this message of concern that concerns you when your motherfucking pocket's getting fatter, okay? Period. <laughs> we got this conflict card out here. All right, you know what happens around this time. It's always fight night. <laughs> it's fight night. Mm. Don't be fighting with nobody during this season. Listen, Spirit. Listen, Spirit said it ain't the time to be fighting with people. You need to manage your energy. You need to manage your fucking... Manage your tone. Manage your energy. Manage whatever it is that you need to manage. Especially your attitude. Because people are going to come in and try you because they're on the verge of getting something. Alright? For instance, I was at the store the other day, right? And I was trying to get me a sandwich. And I walk in, you know, I'm cool. I talk to everybody. Hey, how you doing? What's up? Da, 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 da. Now, I'm trying to get me a sandwich. And the man behind the counter, I said, hello. Like I always do. And he got his back turned to me. He ain't say nothing. Then I said, hello again, right? And the owner saw me. He's like, oh, hey. You know what I mean? Hey. I'm like, hey, he was like, nice to see you. But the man who makes a sandwich still didn't turn around. So I said, okay. The spirit is already telling me I don't want this man to make my sandwich because he got a nasty attitude. And so he says, he finally turns around and he was like, what you want? Excuse me, sir? What do I want? I want nothing with that attitude. Nothing with that attitude. <laughs> and so he tells me that we don't have what you want. And I said, so you don't have... Uh, I wanted a veggie burger. He's like, you don't have, a, I said, you don't have a veggie burger? He's like, no. And I'm like, so you really don't have that? No. And I was like, ooh, my spirit is bothering you. He's like, why is she so happy? What's wrong with her? What's wrong with her? <laughs> so I started laughing. I started laughing at the bed. I started cracking up. I said, who hurt you? Are you okay? So I said, you know what? It's all good. You, you know, even if you did have it, I wouldn't want you to make it anyway. Because who knows what you would have tried to do to me just because you think that my spirit is irritating you and your demons. So then the owner was like, what happened? Why are you leaving so, why are you leaving so early? I'm like, he said that he don't got what I need. He was like, what? Why would you tell her that? Why would you be so mean to her? What's wrong with you? You don't be mean to the customers like that. And so the owner was standing up for me. And he was like, hold on, sweetheart. I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to get you whatever you need. I'm going to see if we got it. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so he goes downstairs and he checks and checks and checks. And he's like, sorry, babe, we don't have it. And I was like, that's okay. I appreciate you for, for, for extending the extra help and even, you know, helping me out. You know, appreciate you. And I was like, but anyways, if you did have it, I wouldn't want him to make my sandwich because I don't like certain people who have certain spirits on them making my food. Okay? That's just something I just don't do. All right? And so 
he was like, yeah, you have a good day. And so right when I'm walking out the store, when I'm walking out the store, I hear them screaming in the background. Well, the, the owner screaming. He's like, what's wrong with you? You don't work in my store and treat the customers bad. He was like, even if you don't have it, you don't say it like that. You don't be mean to people. What's wrong with you? <laughs> and I was like, that's right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how you do it. <laughs> but yeah, he was trying to provoke me for no ass reason. Trying to get me out of my nice mood. But I simply looked at him and laughed at him. And I'm like, it's no need for all that. It's no need. <laughs> it tickles me when people ignore me. It really does. Because I know I'm, I know that you're making a conscious effort to do it. Because I'm not the type of person that walks into a place and can be ignored. You know what I mean? You're making a conscious effort to do that. Pity on you for putting all your energy in little old me. <laughs> you know? But yes. It's only me. Exactly. I don't need his spirit on my sandwich. But that's what I'm saying, collective. Do not let these people, these little, these little Z's get you out of character. Just laugh it off and move about your business. Because you know you got, you know you got checks on the way. All right. None of this conflict. All right. Just be on the lookout. Be on the lookout for them. Be on the lookout for these main males, these people with this masculine energy trying to drag you out of your peace because they want you to stunt your growth. They want you to give them your energy so that you can be susceptible to being toyed with or susceptible to being delayed. Okay? That's always how it go. All right? We also got this pride energy out here. See that? All right. Now... <laughs> This pride energy, it, it talks about ego, it talks about self-worth, and it talks about self-esteem, okay? There's two things here, collective. There's there's something here about you stepping into your north node and you being more confident, okay? The ego never really dies, it just matures, okay? So a lot of people say, oh, my ego died. Your ego doesn't die. It matures. We need our ego for certain things. We need our ego to get through life. All right. But a lot of people who have an undeveloped, immature ego, they use it to control others or to be bravado or like, you know, like think that, you know, use it as like a trauma, trauma bonding experience. OK, they use it to control situations. But when your ego matures, you know how to control a situation and you know how to control yourself to the best outcome that you can receive okay because you know yourself in and out all right your ego is not just speaking for you when your ego is immature usually your ego is like your your representative okay when it's immature it's your representative it comes out at any given time anywhere anyhow no morale no 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 manners nothing it's just hanging out taking everything personal thinking you this thinking you that whatever but when your ego matures you can use that confidence from that ego that self-esteem to move through life and move into rooms where you know what you're talking about you stand on business you you know what i mean like you're not using it in a way that is very disrespectful you just you know yourself you one with self but you also know hey listen I'm not talking about that. You know how to set your boundaries. That's power. Exactly say so. You know how to set your boundaries. Okay? This is going to bring you sudden wealth. Like I said earlier. It's going to bring you sudden wealth. You're going to come into this abundance. And you're not going to know where the fuck it came from. But it doesn't know. It doesn't It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's yours. It's your inheritance. It's what is owed to you. Because there's a lot of people who try to steal from you. Okay? Whew. This is a great read. Okay. Um, we talk about seven, seven, seven. So, yeah, this is gonna come out of nowhere. Okay. We also got the eleven card out here too. Sudden wealth. Yeah. Just check your ego if you're in, if you're in an immature state. But you know, use your ego to step into your power, step into your north node, so that you can get that. Mm-hmm. Cheddar. We gotta kill these daydreams though. We got to kill these daydreams, okay? Also, I'm, I'm feeling two things about this, though. We got to kill these daydreams. Like I said before about the scheduling. 
walking in your north node when you're walking in your north node you're you're you have you have that ace high personality where you're setting yourself up for success you're no longer just laying around seeing what happens next or picking up stuff putting it down picking up no you're scheduling out your life okay this daydream card here is telling you step into your north node stop doing things here and starting one project stopping another you need to do things every day consistently to remain in alignment with your abundance okay yeah quit these illusions everything you want is yours you don't have to daydream about it all you have to do is put in the work but kill this daydreaming okay this daydreaming was you and your south node this is representing the south node coffin okay all right this this energy is eclipsed out already it's dead all right you're no longer that person that you were you're a big girl you're a big boy now all right you learned your lessons it's clips out. You take responsibility for your shit. And that's just what it is. No more daydreaming. Doing. Working. Assertive. Going after what belongs to you. Okay? Mm. This is this person I was talking about earlier, to be honest. With this loneliness card out here. This person could be sitting on the side of the bed. They could be in a hospital. Or they could be like suffering from some sort of mental health issues. Okay. This person that you left that was having some sort of break or some sort of issue with you where they were dealing with rage and, and mental health problems, they are feeling very lonely because you chose yourself. All right. You finally moved on. And you didn't move on with another person. You moved on with yourself. Okay. But they're feeling very lonely right now. They're feeling like they're in despair. Okay. This is the card highlighting um, the loneliness card despair so this person's feeling really lost without you but um honestly it's 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 over like it, it really is this energy this energy is eclipsed out for this season and going forward it's only up from here but it's it's a single solo journey it's not for you to be on this journey with nobody else right now okay you've done your work with a lot of people you've been in a lot of relationships it's time to cut that shit out right now right now is a season for you only okay collective season for you only that's it and this season spirit says you shouldn't be worried about love you should be worried about love for yourself because love has always held up your progress all right it, it all it always has because it wasn't the right type of love okay and that's just that okay the right type of love is going to pour into you it's going to pour into you. It's going to make your life easier. But this type of love that you was receiving from the past, mm, you don't need that. It doesn't It doesn't serve you. Okay? But that's what I got for you for this collective eclipse reading. I hope you guys had a wonderful day. And you didn't let that fear that they was trying to promote online get to you because it's all just to grab your energy anything you need to know about me is in the description box below and you can book a reading with me or book a human design session book um a coaching session everything is in the box below but i love you guys stay safe and i'll see you soon peace